Good morning, and welcome to your daily Farm and Home Show, brought to you by the University of Kentucky Cooperative Extension Service. And now, here's your host. Good morning, and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles, and Kristen Hildebrand is visiting with us again today to teach us all about flowers. Kristen's the Warren County Extension Agent for Horticulture. Good morning, Kristen. Good morning, Joanna. Now, Kristen, when I walk in to anywhere that sells flowers or those bouquets, I'm not always exactly sure what to look for. Yeah, and I don't think I would have been, so that's why we you know, put together this segment. So that way, if you're looking or shopping, you know, for your Valentine, you want to make sure it's something that's going to last a couple, maybe at least a couple of days, hopefully a week at the most. And so we've got a couple of selection tips and also some post care things that you can do afterwards to kind of keep it beautiful for your Valentine's Day person. So uh, first off, you know, we talked about that roses are the number one flower generally given across Valentine's mm -hmm. Day. There's some other ones too, but we'll talk about roses first in general. So whenever you're looking about roses, uh, it's really important that you look wherever you're purchasing it from. Now I know that sometimes people will call their florist up and say, hey, I need a half dozen or, you know, a dozen red roses or whatever the color might be. But if you go into a supermarket setting, that's where, you know, generally you can pay a little bit less. So probably some of our uh, customers, consumers that might be, you know, watching their budgets and things like that, they might shop at more of a supermarket type uh, grocer. So whenever you go in, it's really important that you look around uh, to see some of the visible cues that are kind of kind of showing themselves to you. Okay, so I don't know what those are. So so one of the things to look for, especially with roses, is to look at the flower heads. Okay. So right here, if you can kind of just go up and just kind of feel the head of it. If it feels hard, you know that it's generally a one that you're going to actually have for a lot longer. Mm -hmm. If it feels soft to the touch, it's probably been in refrigeration for a while. So, and then that's another point to look at after you kind of feel around for the petals and stuff like that, is to look and see if anything looks droopy or anything that looks off color. Um, sometimes, you know, you can definitely see that some of the roses, um, their heads get droopy over a course of the time that they've been in storage. So their heads get uh, droopy, and so sometimes that one's a really key uh, thing to look for. Um, another thing to look for, especially with roses, is um, to see where it's located in the store. So it's best to buy the roses that are in the refrigeration. You know how mm -hmm. sometimes they'll put them out on tables so that way when you walk in the door you can just pick one up and go pay for it. Um, so generally you would want to look for for that by the ones that are in refrigeration rather than the ones that are out in the store. Because that reduces their shelf life. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Um, the other thing you want to remember when you're selecting your flowers is to make sure that you purchase them uh, earlier in the day. Oh. So the earlier that you purchase you'll get a better selection and then the ones that you buy towards the end of the day I mean you're just kind of picking over what's already been picked over. So, and two, you don't get, again, the best quality. So remember some of that. Um, if you look towards some of the other flowers that are in the store besides um, look around for their petals to see if they've dropped around the bouquets or around the, the vases, whatever that you have there, because sometimes that's a good indicator that, hey, these have probably been here a little while. Mm -hmm. um, so definitely look for that. Now, if you look towards other flowers, um, definitely look for the color okay. so you know more vibrant colors are going to tell you that it's been it's fresh and you know it's probably not been there very long uh, because remember you know it, those flowers have to make quite a few miles to get to where they need to be so look for the color and kind of see for that if there's a little bit of like blackness around the the blooms or something like that then I would probably tell you to not look for for ones like now, that. Now Kristen this might be completely random but you know you see some that are like UK blue and you know we don't raise flowers that are that color. True. So have they been dipped? Will they last or that's how does good, that work? That's a good question. So either they've been sprayed or that they've actually been dipped. Like you said sometimes if it's a white rose they might dip it in a little bit of some blue paint or, or whatever and then uh, that's how that they get that color for some of the marketing and stuff like that. So so that's something to kind of consider. Sometimes that reduces uh, the life of it unless it's preferred for that particular flower and sometimes 
places will do that just so that you know they can make a sale if that's something that the customer really it's wants. It's just a novelty kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's something that's different and you're not used to seeing so I can typically see that. So so one of the things I do want to mention, if you have a vase, um, you want to look and make sure that there's not any foliage down in the bottom of the vase uh, because again that dirties your water and so that uh, lessens your cut flower longevity life so you want to make sure that that's completely taken out. Definitely change your water every couple of days and I like to use lemon lime soda but the floral life is the best way to go. All right Kristen thanks for all the information and we appreciate you watching and we hope you have a great day. If you have questions about today's topic please call the Warren County Extension Office at the number on your screen. Thanks for watching and have a great day.